Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan Lampel, and in this quick video from cgcookie.com, I'm going to take you through a really cool product from the Blender Market called Asset Sketcher. And what this add-on allows you to do is basically paint objects into your scene. Uh, this is created by Andreas Esau, and you can purchase it for $30, but it is well worth the price. And let's jump into Blender so I can show you how powerful it is. Inside of Blender, you can find the add-on in the left toolbar in its own tab. And to get started, I want to make a quick, messy garden. So I'm going to select this ground, add that as a canvas, and select some of these objects here, and just add them to the asset library. I'll add a weed, some grass, and a dead dandelion for now. And just to quickly show you what this is, uh, if I select the uh, what I have as the canvas, and enable sketching, whatever asset I click on over here, I can paint directly onto the ground. And this is very cool. Then I can select a different one and paint that. And there are a couple shortcuts that make this really powerful. I can press control and you can see it brings up a knife and it turns red and I can delete objects or you see right now I'm painting the dandelion. However, if I press alt and select one of these instances, it selects the weed and I can paint that. So I can very quickly switch between whatever I'm painting. I can also hit F to increase the brush size. So that makes it very easily easy to delete lots of objects. Or I can press Shift F and change the density. And I can paint multiple objects at the same time. Now these options can all be found in the toolbar and you can tweak them over here if you'd like, if you need something very specific. Now, to make the garden, first I want to put in some weeds. But you see if that if I paint them like this in a line, they're all very uniform. They're all pointing the same direction, and I don't really want that. So I'm going to add some random rotation down here. And I'll, I'm also going to add a little bit of random scale. And I don't want them to be quite so large, so I'll scale them at 0.75. Now if I delete that one that I had before and now I can just go ahead and start sketching and immediately we have a very cool result and you can be as accurate or inaccurate as you'd like since this is just a messy garden I'm just going to kind of place them wherever maybe delete them if they're too close together and another very cool thing is you see that they're pointing in the direction of the surface normal but for plants you don't necessarily want that um, all the way because plants grow towards the light which is you know usually upwards so in this case I'm going to turn down the surface orientation to about 0.25 so now when I paint the plants they're only pointing there um, they're only pointing you know to the left along the normal just a little bit so this is very cool and now I can go ahead and do the same thing with the dead dandelion add some random rotation add some random scale and I can go ahead and start painting alright so maybe I want some of these blue flowers so I can select I can disable sketching select that add that to the list enable sketching put in some random scale and I can go ahead and paint now this is very neat uh, but let me show you something that's even cooler. So if I go ahead and add this grass, oh, it was already selected. Um, you know, I could go ahead and paint individually, but this would take a really long time. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, not only put in some random values, but I'm also going to increase the brush size and increase the brush density. And now, I can paint it so that it paints, you know, eight pieces of grass at the top at a time. I can increase that to however many I'd like. And it not only just paints it and duplicates the objects, um, it actually makes it so that it's an instance of the object. So if I need to say there's something wrong with this grass, I can go ahead, edit one object, and you can see that's going to edit all of them and that is very very cool 
uh, really handy, especially in game environments and the like. Alright, so I'll keep on sketching this grass. Uh, maybe I don't want to have them so spread apart, so I'll change the asset distance to 0.75 so that they're closer together. And I will continue painting. And very quickly, I have instanced a large number of objects um, with almost no work. And so this is a very, very cool tool, especially if you are doing game environments or making a messy scene, or even if you're doing something like cityscapes, where it just you need to place a lot of different objects, um, and it can save you so much time. Um, and another great thing about this add-on from the Blender Market is that you get free upgrades. So anytime there's a new feature or a new thing, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, your upgrades will automatically be free, and you can get a link to download them again. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and go visit the Blender Market.